uh, and some of the ongoing work that uh, my office is going to be doing. I do want to give a shout out to ESD48, uh, Chief McAteer, who's just done a phenomenal job out here today, and we really appreciate it. Community Fire Department brought out their command. Uh, obviously, as you can see, we have the Sheriff's, uh, Sheriff's Department. We've had the troopers, uh, Texas Department of Public Safety, TxDOT. Really want to thank all of our partners. This unified command, uh, it's worked exactly how we wanted. We are ending up with no injuries uh, to any of the staff and to any of our residents that we know of at this point. So let me give you to Dr. Brown. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Dr. Erica Brown. I'm the local health authority for Harris County. At this time, we feel comfortable to lift the shelter in place. We want to thank all of the residents um, who participated and took this seriously. Um, but again, at this time, we do feel that it is safe to lift the shelter in place, and we will continue to work with pollution control to monitor uh, throughout the evening. Dr. Babin? Thank you. I'm Dr. Latrice Babin, Executive Director of Harris County Pollution Control Services. Our teams have been out monitoring, and at this time, we're not getting any detections on our instrumentation. However, we will continue to monitor for the next few hours to make sure that we don't pick up anything. We will be working in conjunction with Dr. Brown and the Public Health Department, and if anything should happen, then we will definitely let you know through Dr. Brown's office. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh Assistant Chief Chad Shaw with the Harris County Fire Marshal's Office. Uh, at this time, uh, we believe the, the event is under control. Um, the uh, tanks have bled off and uh, there's only residual left. Well, we are mandating that the company uh, hire uh, private contractors to come in and continue air monitoring to ensure that there's no offsite impact. Uh, we're also uh, to try to ensure that this event doesn't happen again. Uh, we're requiring them to uh, make all repairs necessary to ensure that their system uh, operates as designed. Um, this time, I think we'll take some questions if anybody has any. Yeah, uh, Harris County Public Health sent out, you know, if anybody has complaints about air pollution, uh, possible symptoms, or then to call you guys, you guys still ask the community if they've had any of the, or experienced any of that to send the complaints your way? So, um, yes, we uh, would like to hear uh, if anyone feels like uh, they are still symptomatic or have any symptoms uh, in general. Um, uh, ammonia air pollution can cause respiratory symptoms, eye irritation, uh, nose and throat irritation, shortness of breath. Um, at this time, however, we again, we feel confident um, that there is no uh, threat and so we're lifting um, uh, the, the shelter in place order. However, we do want to uh, make residents aware that they may still smell ammonia, but the levels of ammonia that they may smell, we feel confident, are not causing uh, any imminent health risk. I don't know who this question will be directed to, but can you guys kind of walk us through how you mitigated the issue inside and how long it took you to contain it? Sure. So our hazardous materials team, along with the experts from the company who uh, services the refrigeration system here, uh, went back on site uh, this afternoon after the, the heat came in and humidity went down, which would then allow the uh, atmosphere inside the building to uh, become to a level where we could actually make entry and, and uh, reassess the situation. At that time, they found that the tanks had, had uh, bled down to a level that uh, made it safe for entry and uh, there was no uh, additional uh, air monitoring uh, problems. And so uh, we were able to uh, obviously lift the shelter uh, in place. And uh, there is still some residual inside the building, which is why we're requiring the uh, on-site monitoring until all that dissipates. And just to confirm, there was nobody inside when this leak was detected. How was it detected? So there was. Uh, there was actually maintenance being performed at the time. Uh, whenever this happened. Uh, we don't know the, the full ins and outs. We are going to be conducting an investigation to try to determine what happened um, so that we can try to make sure that it doesn't happen again. There were people on site whenever this happened. Um, obviously, it became uh, very toxic inside the building and they had to evacuate, and that's when they called 911. What does a liability look like for a situation like this? I know you said that a part of this investigation is that you guys are now having an outside or private company follow up to make sure that they have the ins and the outs of this, but is there a certain liability or legality that goes Uh, so we'll be working uh, closely with our county attorney's office to determine exactly those those answers. So there could potentially be more legality coming out of the end of the company here that started this. 
Sure, with every with every situation, there there, there could be that possibility. Yes. Is that it? Thank you all very much for coming out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Does a does a uh, company when there's an incident like this, do they incur any uh, uh, costs uh, that the county will seek to reimburse for the uh, expenses that were caught, brought brought to bear in the, the uh, response? So as, as Chief Shaw was explaining, uh, what will happen again, um, you know, we, the scene's just ending. So we will begin our investigation from the Harris County Fire Marshal's Office, determining how this occurred, uh, what events took place, what mitigation uh, needs to occur. Again, this facility is going to be shut down until some of those things are, are reviewed. But we will work with the county attorney's office, and we can't speak on that behalf until that uh, aspect of the investigation is completed. I don't know if that was something that is, uh, is part of the protocol to see if there's some, uh, you know, cost to the county that you would seek to And, and we would definitely leave that up to the experts in the county attorney's office once our investigation is completed. Yes, sir. You say it was that personnel for maintenance. How many people are they working with that time? Uh, we were told there were about 10 to 12 people in the building at the time. Thank is, you. Is there any oh. other... Uh, Business besides the 99 cent uh, works uh, headquarters store warehouse uh, affected by this uh, incident, or is it just that one business? It's just the one facility. It's the 800,000 square foot warehouse. It's the one facility. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Y'all have a good day.